we are looking at uh, the retrograde cycle um, of the astronomical ages. Um, okay. Uh, I'm quoting now from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. When the Egyptians personify the beneficial powers of nature, that is, say, the gods, they usually give to them human forms and conceive them in their own images. But when they personify the opposing powers, they give to them the shapes of noxious animals and reptiles, such as snakes and scorpions. As time went on, the moral ideas of good and right were attributed to the former, and evil and wickedness to the latter. The first personifications of light and darkness were Horus and Seth. Okay, from this uh, paragraph I read alone, you can um, uh, see the sense that the author had uh, an idea of the, uh, the ancientness of Egyptian um, hieroglyphics. Uh, then he said that uh, opposing powers, they give to them the shapes of noxious animals and reptiles such as snakes and scorpions. And as time went on, the more of the ideas of good and right were attributed to the former and evil and wickedness to the latter. Later in the text, Already in the Pyramid of Eunice, a long section of the text contains nothing but formulae, the recital of which was intended to protect the disease from various kinds of snakes and worms. These are exceedingly ancient. Indeed, they may safely be said to form one of the oldest parts of the funeral literature of the Book of the Dead and certain Coptic works that the dread of the serpent as an emblem of physical and moral evil existed among the Egyptians in all generations. Okay, uh, that might not be uh, exact quoting of the Egyptian Book of the Dead, but you do get the sense that the author thinks e uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics are exceedingly old, but um, at least in a funeral context, but how old he, he is insane, but I think this uh, is extremely old uh, in that it is totemic. It shows the totemic nature of uh, Egyptian language uh, clearly, and uh, whether it goes back 48,000 years now is something else, but that is when I think a uh, man uh, came out of uh, the totemic period and this language reflects um, that and going through the retrograde cycle that we're looking at although I'm not going to explain it to you I've explained it in other situations or explained it to myself I don't know if anyone is hardly listening it amounts about 48,000 uh, years. We are presently in the age of Pisces, which is right here. We are going to go in Aquarius, and uh, this is where I think it began. If you look at um, Sagittarius, is the Shango, and it went all the way around to... Capricorn, if you notice Capricorn, the symbol is kind of circle. I think that's the end of the ages as the ancients watched them. Um, and don't, uh, it is said that e Egyptians watched the ages for at least 26,000 years. That's how it, they knew it goes, went around in a circle. And the circle is complete in that symbol there. I think this is where Egyptian hieroglyphics all started. 
and it is that old history of writing 48,000 years 